After two semesters and many months of development, we were able to produce a foundation to a new athletic. We incorporated an admin console that allows for full control over all data in the application. With the help of detailed wireframes, we can showcase the vast improvements in visual feel and usability as we enable clients and coaches to create new subscriptions, teams, team group hierarchies, and start reporting games. While we did not reach MVP, we were able to include many of the features and utility that we set out to while maintaining a solid foundation for the new athletic. For Beltziani's beta rotation project, the Index Funds team tested 10 potential algorithms to try to maximize return on an initial $10,000 investment. The selected algorithm consistently outperformed buy and hold strategies in other parts of the market and had a maximum growth of $156,000. Using the dashboard, financial advisors can analyze the backtesting results for this algorithm against two buy and hold strategies, helping demonstrate the beta rotation strategy to potential clients. Advisors can track past rotation signals and receive email notifications each time a new signal is generated. For further analysis, advisors can track the relative strength index of the market and utility sector over time, as well as calculate the annualized return for any period from February 2004 to the present. Team Interstellar welcomes you back to the augmented reality experience. As we look to video conferencing and social media to stay connected with our 21 plus friends, Constellation Brand seeks to brighten your drinking experience. Now that our team has delivered the Lens app and Galaxy web app, as well as a DevOps environment and the many lessons learned throughout our software development, we have enabled an elite squad of brand marketers to do what has never been done. They are hard at work creating novel campaigns that make the contents of your surroundings more exciting than ever. Let's zoom into the Stellarverse and see what's going on. In this campaign, we follow the perspective of a consumer who travels from the couch to the fridge, a journey filled with wonder. With the Lens app, consumers like you can experience Corona in a whole new light. Thanks for watching and stay safe. I'm Chris Renninger from Beer Vision, and I'm here to show you the results of our project. First, we have the map view that shows you all your nearby stores that sell Constellation Brands products. And if you tap the little filter button in the top right, that'll take you to the filter pane. From this menu, you can choose certain attributes to filter by for those stores. You can hit filter, and then it'll show you the shortened list of stores that match those attributes in the area. And at the bottom of the screen, you can choose a specific store that you want to look at. From this screen, you can see products available at the store and tap the left button to take a survey. Here, you can tap answers or tap the camera button, take a picture with your phone, and use computer vision to answer the survey, then submit it. After a long year of development using the rapid application development process, we were able to achieve a small working demo in pieces. A demo that can connect to a radar board through TCP and can visualize the data it's collecting. The demo fulfills these basic requirements and creates a foundation that provides a straightforward path to satisfy the remaining requirements. With our detailed technical documentation, the next team to take on this project will be able to easily pick up where we left off and carry the project to further fruition. We worked our hardest, trying new things and failing at some of them, and we've learned that project management is highly complex, and it's difficult to fully account for every risk, especially risks like pandemics. The world of MOG started off as a simple question. Can we make a game for people of all ages to play with the goal of educating users about the true value of eco-literacy? In discovering the tools and skills required to design a video game, our team learned the keys to balancing the core pillars of Octalysis, a psychological framework that describes the factors that drive human behavior. The result of our research and work has produced two key products for our sponsor, a single-player ecological educational video game for educators, gamers, and avid learners alike, and a non-player character interactions manager. It's been eight months since we began working on center dependency, 
and since then we have created a strong foundation for the game. Parts such as level design, game rules, and scoring for both single and multiplayer have been created and are available to aid in future development. For multiplayer games, clients are able to create and join game lobbies using Socket.io. Once the client presses start, they are brought to the game board containing a card deck and five labeled zones to place cards in. We've begun the preliminary mechanics of card placement, providing the user instantaneous feedback for incorrect actions. Since this is a multiplayer game, keeping track of the overall state was of high importance. We solve this by using Redux, which lets the server quickly propagate state among clients. We believe that we have created a solid foundation for center dependency and hope that future teams will feel the same way when they pick up the torch. Op6 is a mobile social media application aimed at bringing veterans together. Significant development progress was made over the last year for events and chatting through the application. A list of requirements and a testing framework were built to allow for easier future development. Here you can see the home page after a user logs into the Op6 application. From here we will navigate to events to see the list of all events nearby. We have the ability to filter and sort this list, but for now we are going to click on this event. Here we have the events page. From here we can view additional details about the event. We can also read other users' comments on this event and leave our own comments as well. This page is also where we can RSVP to the event if we are interested in attending. Have you ever wanted to explore the current state of genetic research for a particular species or area of interest only to be overwhelmed by the task of understanding the sheer volume of research at hand? If you have, then you'll understand why Phoenix Bioinformatics put so much work into curating this information into an easily queryable dataset. In order to quickly expose their hard work in a meaningful way to the scientific community, we built the Interactive Functional Annotation Dashboard. The goal of the project is both to explore the current state of the dataset produced by Phoenix, as well as to allow members of the scientific community to begin their research by querying for and downloading data that matches their queries. 
Data is exported in an industry standard format, which will allow the researchers to interoperate with other tools in the community, allowing for more efficient research flows. The Gallery Gateway system was created in 2018 to allow students to electronically submit photos and artwork for art showcases. The second iteration of the project improved upon the existing system and added features that can someday be used to manage scholarship applications through Gallery Gateway. Students can now add a collection of images to a portfolio that will later be submitted for consideration in various scholarships. Students will be able to select which scholarships they wish to apply for and their applications will be reviewed electronically by a panel of judges before the final decision is made. Now, Gallery Gateway is well underway to becoming the standard scholarship submission portal for the School of Photographic Arts and Sciences. The MIT App Inventor is an open source tool that allows users to easily build fully functional Android applications. It's powerful, but the demand for new functionality is more than what a single team can handle. This is where we come in. We were able to build three open source extensions, a barometer that helps determine the phone's altitude, a sound pressure level that measures noise in the surrounding area, and a prototype bridge between the App Inventor and the robot operating system, a free and open source robotics interface that is widely used in the industry. While there's still work to be done, our team was able to contribute to the App Inventor community and create new possibilities for millions of people of all ages around the world. The goal of Smart Storefront is to improve interactions between employees and customers. Our product ensures staff working at the store know the name of customers as they walk through the front door. It integrates directly with any existing point of sale system, so employees can easily access past purchases or open orders. This personal attention enhances the experience for every returning customer. We provide new insights into how often customers visit, even if they don't make a purchase. It will also recognize a customer's first visit to the store. The owner can leverage all this data to make important decisions for their business. All employees, new and experienced, will never forget a customer's name again. We are Team Monumental and we are proud to present our scene design project. We created a website with a database to manage and view all the monument memorials available. The map tab shows all the locations of the database where users can select a pin to be taken to the web page of that specific location where they can learn more about the monument. The website also features advanced searching by name, location, custom tags, and more. Users can also sign up and log into the site to be able to see the favorites, suggested changes, and add to the database. The site also includes various admin functionalities for our sponsor to manage the site and its users. We hope that this project will continue to grow and have a positive impact on the world. As a part of the next iteration of Multimit, you can now use it to dock proteins right from your web browser without installing any complex software. Users can search and select a protein and ligand or upload their own. Once selected, simply sit back as Multimit performs the docking using Autodock Vena. Once the job is completed, you can rotate the docked molecule and change how it looks. Finally, you can view RMSD values of the docking or export those values into a CSV. We are Team Manicotti. 
we built a formality-oriented writing assistant tool for the deaf and hard of hearing in partnership with NTID. We were given flexible requirements and made a versatile product designed for users of various writing abilities. For students with fewer spoken intuitions, our product will ease the process of becoming a more formal writer. Some of our tool's features are present in Grammarly, but our tool achieves higher recommendation accuracy. Our additional features provide feedback on issues commonly faced by deaf and hard of hearing writers through a Google Docs sidebar. Our UI follows suit with Grammarly's style of recommendation. While Grammarly focuses on writing, we focus on the writer. We want to suggest improvements to help users not write their documents for them. Hey, Senior Project, Tim here. How much can creatives save by switching to Presence VR for virtual interviewing? Well, to answer that question, we first have to ask ourselves, how much does a shadow weigh? Just kidding. Presence VR is a continuation project aimed at providing users with an immersive, web-based virtual interviewing solution to show off their artwork in. Our team focused on improving immersion, and our biggest task for this was implementing an entirely new environment and asset spawning process. Now, instead of floating images in empty space, we have framed artwork in a museum setting. Some of our other activities included conducting user testing, creating testing suites, researching alternative hosting solutions, and performing some major dependency updates, all in an effort to polish up the product and prepare it for real use. In the end, while we've had some setbacks that prevented us from implementing everything we had planned, we were successfully able to improve the presence part of the Presence VR equation. Rick Kruder, brought to you by the Fighting Mongooses and Jim Bondi, Associate Director of Career Services at RIT. Rick Kruder aims to connect students with jobs and jobs with students in a semi-anonymous manner with a quick turnaround. As this was a third stage project, we aimed to complete four main tasks. The first was to implement the Google Talent API to handle matching of students to jobs and companies with students. The second was to expand the list and functionality of the skill selection. The third and fourth was to clean up the UI and to create a way of managing many jobs simultaneously for larger companies. RIT's goal is to be carbon neutral by 2030. To help, we advanced progress on a sustainability dashboard that shows electricity consumption across campus. We included data that goes back to 2014 and developed a data processing pipeline to account for main meters, submeters, missing data, and annual meter resets. We also designed meaningful visuals in Tableau that we can hand off to our sponsor. These can be taken to FMS to highlight meters with inaccurate readings that may need to be fixed. The best news of all, consumption is currently way down on campus. RIT Sustainability Dashboard a leap to a greener future. The Seneca Park Zoo Tigers would like to present the conservation impact tool that will be used by zoos across the world. Historically, patrons visiting the zoo would make donations towards a specific conservation project, but they would not have much visibility into where their money goes. One example is the Madagascar Reforestation Project, where the money donated by zoo patrons is used to plant new trees. For donors, functionality has been added so that users can purchase sponsorship tags from the zoo shop and track the asset that they are sponsoring. They will be able to see updates on the life of the asset over time and see it on a map. Additionally, researchers can use the geospatial capabilities of our database to discover new relationships and conservation data and share data with partnering zoos. Hey, what are you doing? I was just using the TTKD training app. Remember how difficult it was trying to teach me a basic form? Now I can reinforce what I learned in class. Here, take a look. Great, sweetie, keep going. <laughs>